Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't sell books on the internet. If you, I mean, if anyone that have been look, uh, watching video about selling on Amazon, one of the most common things that people talk about, they make million of dollars of like selling books on Amazon. I, I'm pretty sure that they make million of dollars of selling books on Amazon. I, I have no doubt about it. But if you take a deep, listen on what they need to go through to sell so many books it's just crazy the amount that you need to work and how many people that you need to have and and how many like books are heavy you need to like have moving heavy stuff for you and and stuff like that before you can make million of dollars and and most of the thing that it is the thing that they are missing out is the key part that i want to talk about is culture let me explain why if you're selling books, you're missing out on culture and missing out the bigger opportunity that you are looking at by, um, by not selling other retail products. Let me explain in details. So if you look on the internet, say uh, how to resell on Amazon and how to sell stuff on Amazon, how to do on arbitrage, retail arbitrage, probably not retail arbitrage, or maybe selling stuff on Amazon, you would like there's like few couple prominent figures they talk about um they think that they sell with books they make a lot of money and and all those kind of things on on the internet but you're noticeable that like you don't see a lot of people making content on selling on amazon you wonder why they don't really um know what seems to be popular they don't seem to be knowing what are the thing that is happening and stuff like that right and as a business owner and i had experience on selling i had experience on uh social media agency and advertising and stuff like that and i realized a very very important point is that if you want to be very successful in the business you need to be able to foresee the future you need to be able to know uh, what is happening you need to know that why this happening and you should invest it first and you would want to build a business around this otherwise you would not be able to uh, navigate the world on making a very successful business so let's talk about the uh, formula on making money on amazon as you can see it's a b c as easy as it's like it's about the how fast you sell the item and how much of the quantity that you have and time what are the profit margin? Basically, how much that you make on the item that you sell, which the, you can look at the C here. It's like revenue minus cost. It's not about the sale volume. If you buy a product for $5 and you sell it for $10, and then you minus the Amazon fee, let's say $5, uh, $2. So you left with $3 left. That is what it means uh, to be at the profit here, right? So ultimately a book seller are doing what? they ultimately optimize the C column here. And because they always say that I can buy a dollar for, I can buy a book for 50 cents, I sell it for like uh, $15 or something like that. And after Amazon fee, I'm making about three, $4 or something. You're making about like a couple thousand, like a couple, like a uh, hundred or 200 percent of percentage. But most of the um, Amazon seller didn't take math very seriously because one of the things that many people talk about in math or especially ma mathematical professor saying that if you're using a small number and using a percentage on talk uh, and talk about small number that is very misleading what it means is that if i make a dollar and tomorrow i make two dollar and i will make a hundred percent of my wage increase that like fucking nuts like you you can tell you i mean you can tell everyone okay i'm gonna make a hundred percent of my increase of the wages and stuff like that because a small number like percentage is very very misleading what i mean so we shouldn't use the percentage or like we need to take the um that as a grain of salt right so that is to put a bad of it so i don't think it's a very good idea to um just doing that but on top but i have other suggestions for you like if you want a good a little bit high percentage and low investment and stuff like that so um i will talk about it later and so here right so they can always talk about uh with the amount of money i've been buying the quantity 
and then when you buy a lot of quantity then you can eventually have a sale but the thing is that the, the speed of those books sucks it it takes a while for the book to sell why it take a while because most people don't really tell you why it take a while the reason a book will sell is because it's a collectible or the book is out of print and you cannot find it on the bookstore like it is as simple as this if you are having a book that is a very good seller you would not be able to uh, find those book uh, book uh, proper, profitable or if it's profitable it costs more than a cent it costs more than a uh, 50 cents or like 20 cents and stuff like that right so on top of that like um amazon usually they they squeeze out the, the any margin that you have selling on books right so this is not a very good category to to get on and that's why i, I mean and most importantly because the speed of thing because you are selling something that is in the past so you don't know what is popular what is going to happen what would happen right so i'm missing out the culture part so culture is the most powerful things and like you of course you can sell like nintendo uh, 64 some people will buy it but you cannot find a lot of quantity of it right but but the thing is that um you, if you sell Nintendo Switch currently, you will sell a lot more quantity and you can get a lot of more quantity because of the speed and, and you will make more profit. Like in as a whole, you don't make as high as a percentage, right? So what I'm suggesting everyone to do is that we should get on something that is popular. We should look at something that is popular. How do you find popular item? You need to look at the culture. So if you know... Um, I mean, culture is the thing that driving society. Culture is the thing that driving um, all sort of things. If you look at, you need to know what is the popular culture. For example, um, like, like for example, uh, I can talk about uh, during the time we are in the coronavirus, right? If you uh, go back time, like 18 months ago, and all those like glove and, and kind of like smarts and stuff like that, if you get a good enough price if you after you pay for the um amazon fee and and sell at the fair price you can still make profit you can get a lot of them at least and and you will sell really really good speed so by doing uh selling new item you will be able to know what is happening after like the product will tell you the culture will tell you and you need to look at what is popular for example um back couple like uh, i think 18 months ago i invest some sport car because car is one of the highest things uh, one of the hardest things one of the thing that you should look at and i i giving up the big secret here i'm telling you the big secret is like because this is popular sport car car is popular and car company they are not what they used to be they make a limited edition so you don't charge the like the the thing like even they have a lot of them but they have different addition right so the different addition they they would have that and if you could get a wholesale account for this you can have a lot of quantity and the profit margin is just like any good wine when you when you know what to have and hold on to it you can make a lot of profit even if you don't make a don't make a good profit in in the future you at least make some good profit now Quantity, if you know, let's uh, like give you very, very good contracts. I basically give you the best thing that I have, but I don't, won't go into details. Culture, this is culture, card is culture. And you can have a different association thing about different card. I won't give it all to you here. And you can get a lot of quantity and you would sell a lot of profit if you can get a wholesale account, right? And it forced like, but understand this A portion, you not only would do well on Amazon, you could like that's how stock eggs come into life. If you know sneakers, good seller, and people cannot get it, you know this is the culture. You can make a website like stock eggs. You can make a like a broker surface. You can make all sort of thing from this culture. But bookseller don't know anything. They just know things in the past, and the past and book are rarely good sell. It didn't give them any indicator. 
So I'm giving you the formula. If you know what is very good, you can already make money selling on Amazon. When you accumulate enough capital, you can, you know what is society going, you will be able to do it like on your own way. That is like selling on Amazon is a trainer wheel for business owner and selling more profitable and selling more product. But if you're selling books, you never learn shh. That's all I would tell you that, right? So that's it. I mean, oh yeah. Um, the last one that I promised to you is that if you want to have a good margin and a very low profit, like you should want to look into the food category and especially those like special edition and, and stuff like that. And some of the product that is like somewhat uncommon, you can buy for cheap and sell it for a lot of the high percentage. But anyway, high percentage is misleading if you talk of a small number. So if you like it this way, I give it to you, go to food category. That's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys next time.